So in this video, I want to compare and contrast the Selenium web driver versus the Selenium um, remote control server method of um, doing the automated testing. So what, what I did was I recorded a script using the Selenium IDE and I exported the test cases to the end unit web driver and end unit remote control. So what you see here is uh, I imported both of those uh, code files into the Visual Studio project and this is here your typical remote control server call uh, where you're instantiating a Selenium object and connecting to the remote control server uh, while the web drivers actually instantiates a Firefox driver for a particular browser. Um, so I've compiled this project and I'm going to run the end unit test here for you. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is run the remote control. And this is going to fail because I actually don't have the remote control HTTP server running. So if you remember from my previous videos, what I did was I downloaded the Selenium server uh, version 2.39 on the Selenium download site. And uh, what it is is really a jar file that contains a standalone HTTP server that runs on port 444. So if you look at the code, it actually connects to the HTTP server on port 444. So let me start that up and rerun that test. And I'll start up the server by simply uh, from the command line calling uh, uh, the Java runtime and starting this HTTP server here. So it's started now and I'm going to rerun my test. So this is your standard uh, remote control server that uh, ran the test. So it ran it fairly quickly. Um, now I'm going to close down the server and I'm simply going to run the newer Selenium web driver test. And you'll see it's going to instantiate here, it's going to create a bigger instance of the screen and it's going to navigate a lot slower than the remote control. So this test that I have is simply automated to navigate to uh, Google Maps type in Cleveland, Ohio, do a couple of zoom, zooming in and um, going down to kind of like the street level. So uh, this is all that the automated test is really doing. Doing a couple of clicks and zooming in and panning, stuff like that. So it's going to end soon. And the test ended. So um, that is a side-by-side -side comparison of the same exact test using remote control and web driver. And if you look at the code here, it's doing the same thing, uh, typing in Cleveland, Ohio, connecting to Google Maps here. And same with the web driver, which connects to Google Maps and then typing in Cleveland, Ohio and doing the panning and zooming and all of that. So um, so that's the side-by-side -side demo. Um, one of the advantages of using remote control is um, in my other video I, I have showing the multi-server setup. So I have a couple of servers and the test is remotely called from one server and initiated on the other servers. So in that way, you can kind of uh, drive your testing off of multiple servers. But I believe the web driver also can use the remote control server to do the same type of thing, uh, which I'm researching. Um, so in my uh, next couple of videos, what I'm going to do is uh, do like a side by side of the IE driver and the Chrome driver along with the Firefox driver and you could see all the different types of uh, browsers and the testing, the automated testing that can be initiated uh, with that. So, all right, uh, thank you for watching.